I need you to have something to eat or I'm gonna die. go we'll, we'll harvest the rabbit we'll harvest both of them why not alright and then I need to there we are. I need to find a bed and sleep before I do anything. I can't see anything. Go. Now I can actually see. Mouth so dry. Ooh, a book about sewing. And a sewing kit. Oh my god, are we about to chug some toilet water? Hell yeah, let's do it. Have you guys ever wanted to chug some toilet water? You know what we're gonna do in this episode? That's right. 
we're gonna get Grey Mother some food, and we're gonna get some for us too, and we're gonna have a blast. Well, as long as she doesn't shoot us for helping. But she won't, because, you know, she's nice like that. According to the fan base, or aka the people that taught me how to play this game, she's one of the best characters in the game, so. I don't know. We'll see. We'll, uh, we'll save that for her. Uh, anything that I hunt, I'm gonna give it to Grey Mother. And, basically, I'm gonna try to limit how much food I eat in this game. Well, except for right now, to save it. Oh, that's not gonna give me a whole lot of food, is it? But, but Grey Mother's gonna get most of the food for the side quest. I wonder if I can give her water. If that'll do anything. Let me see. Because I can just get water from the snow. And, uh... Here's also another fun fact for the people who have never played this game before. Only keep one cooking pot. One. Because only having one cooking pot will keep your weight down. And because this isn't hoarders. <laughs> also, this fireplace will burn infinitely. So if you need a place to be warm and you're outside and you're near... Uh, just come on down to Grandma's house. I'm gonna call her Grandma instead of Grandmother. It's easier. It's more fun. Come on down to Grandma's house. And, uh, you stay safe now. Don't shoot nobody. Unless you're bad. Because, you know, her, her dementia is going crazy. She hears voices in her head. Uh, that's not dementia, I don't think. Is it? I don't know. I don't have dementia. I don't want dementia. <laughs> that doesn't sound like it'd be fun. Alright, uh, we're gonna explore Milton before we go out of town real quick. Okay. Now we are gonna need some warmer clothes before we do anything outside of this town. So, you know, we'll just loot the buildings first. Oh, before we do anything, there's a hatchet over here. What happened here? Oh, I hear a wolf. Yeah, I'm not so picky about food in this game because, you know, this isn't an actual survival. This is a story. Food's not going to be that hard to come by. Because, uh, you know, you can hunt. And uh, later in the game, you can go fishing. Uh, that's cool. Uh, you I'll be can hungry later. harvest stuff. Wait. Must be the key um, to the bank manager's house. I know when you're in survival, you can change the rules, so you can increase how much uh, food you'll find. Which is, you know, it's not my thing. I like to decide based on the difficulty. Let the difficulty decide for me how hard it's going to be to find food. That's the challenge of survival, you know? The game's not fun if you have 500 things of food. I mean, in late game, yeah, but not at the beginning. It's like, oh, you spawn in? Oh, look, a rifle. You'd either be really lucky or you'd have the stats really high up, so... 
I know one of the things I do is I make it so that the wildlife can't hunt me. They can't go after me until like one day has passed in the game. So that way you can prepare. Obviously it's not going to work like that in real life. The wildlife doesn't care, but you know, it's fun for me. I don't know. I don't like it too hard, but I don't like it too Could easy. It's got to be It's got to be a good like balance, you know? Basically what I'm trying to say is it kind of this game kind of feels like it's a like a like a winter primitive technology thing. If anybody knows what that is. I think most people would know what that is. That guy is a really good YouTube channel, by the way. I would recommend it. I would. Primitive technology, he builds stuff. As they would in the cave the caveman days. Oh, he's he's great to watch if you're bored. Lock picking in this game is very, very simple. It's basically dumbed down to go turn it counterclockwise. Is it counterclockwise? I don't know. Turn it until you see the white lock open. And then go the other way. Oh. So go this way. And then bam, you there. Because the locks in this game are randomly generated. There's no code that you can find. You don't you don't just Google the code. Because I know most of you would do that. I would do that. I would just Google the code. If I could, I did that for Resident Evil. Because, uh, you know, I'm a shitter. Yep. And then you go the other way. Don't go too fast. I don't think anybody's gonna need 60 bucks. I'm glad that Mackenzie was smart enough to keep the, the piece of shrapnel that was in his arm as a knife. I just hope he, like, wrapped something around it so that he wouldn't cut himself again. I, I felt like he wouldn't actually have been able to use his hand because all he did was wrap a bandage around it. I mean, he was in the winter, so I guess that's a natural painkiller, but I also feel like that would hurt really badly, too. Because, you know, obviously we're not going to find any icy hot land around, but... I don't know. Okay, so I'm not going to loot every single house uh, I might do that on my off time when I mean off camera but uh, I don't know there's a specific house that I know has good stuff it's the house with the Canadian flag on it uh, twitch chat actually helped me out the last time I played this that's why I know so much about the first episode I wish there was people here now in Twitch chat. That would be really fun. I'd love to have them talk to me. Because the first time I played this, I, I learned it really fast. And then one guy came on. He was like, wow, that's you're, you're, you learn really fast. That's the fastest I've ever seen somebody get past the first part. Like, stuff will come in handy. I, I guess people don't learn really easily. I guess there's a lot of people who aren't like easy catching on to how the game mechanics work in this game. Like, uh... I, I killed a rabbit in my first throw when I first started playing this game. Obviously, I've gotten worse hunting rabbits uh, when I recorded the first episode recently. But, yeah, my first time hunting a rabbit in this game, I just one-shotted it. Just tossed a rock at it, sprinted to it as soon as it was stunned, and uh, took it. I think I can use this. This is a really good house for, um, 
living in if you're playing the survival. If you're playing with Milton. Ooh, cooked white fish. I can give that to Grandma. Hey, got everything in here that you need. You got a Doesn't cabinet for any. storing things. Ah, uh, you know what I just realized? I still have the animal guts on me. I should have given those to Grandma. Well, no, because you got to lay them on the ground. And, uh... Yeah. You got to lay them on the ground for three in-game days before you can use them for crafting. And... Well, honestly... That'll come in handy. Ooh, there we go. Yeah, so when I get a second, I'm just gonna... <laughs> you weren't expecting me to cut down the curtains, were you? You probably were, then. I don't know. I, I didn't even know about that until I got to the, the second in-game episode. everything we can and then we're gonna go explore the map and then we'll come back to grandma we'll drop some stuff off and then we'll go back to exploring food. I already looked at the fridge yeah but no the the house with the Canadian flag is one of the biggest landmarks in the first episode I wonder if I can mark it on a map. Because I know that when you play this game, you can draw on the map. Which is really, really exciting. I love that a lot. Um, I know you can label things. Locations and stuff. Uh, whenever there's a new thing that comes out, I always check the Long Dark Reddit page. To see if anybody has anything new. Let me see. Open it up. Aw, oh, you can't. <laughs> Vehicles are a really good way to, to get yourself a little bit of warmth back and to hide from animals. As it said on the left side of the screen, but uh... Yeah, there's also some t sometimes, sometimes, there's loot in there. This entire town is creaking like crazy. Um, how the story mode goes is... Uh, you're not surviving long enough to live forever. You're not making some kind of giant stash house. You can, if it makes things easier. Um, you're literally just looking to survive until the end of the episode. So, that, that's a tip for you. Um, you just need the bare necessities, basically. It's not telling you to grab everything, because there's a huge weight limit. Like, I, I don't like to grab a lot of water. I used to do that. I used to carry, like, 20 gallons at once. And then I was over-encumbered, like, mad. I'm grabbing only enough to keep me and Grandma alive. Um, 
Thank goodness. Food is always gonna go. I'm always gonna take some food. But I'm giving about 90% of it to grandma. Just because I can live off the bare minimum. I can hunt whenever I want. I'm gonna probably go hunting in this game after I leave. But I could use this. Ooh, that's really good. That makes flames fast. I'm uh scrap metal, don't take scrap metal. You don't need scrap metal until the second episode. Because in the second episode you get a forge. Which I think is neat. And you can also get a forge when you uh, play survival. When you play survival, you can unlock everything. However, however, you need books to increase your skills. Kind of like in this game. Kind of like in the um, story mode. You need books. But more or less, those are kind of like tutorial books. You find them and then they teach you how to play. I've played this for a while, so I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm a professional at it. I've actually not even tried the survival mode, I've just been doing the story. But, um, another cool thing, another cool thing, is if you play the game long enough, uh, there's a challenge menu, when you go into the main menu, and they unlock perks, like permanent perks, like if you start a thousand five hundred fires, um, I think they last longer, like, and if you hunt a certain amount of animals, like, it's, it's challenges that you do that can give you perks in the survival and, uh, story mode. So here's another book. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Uh, if you guys see a backpack in any part of the game... Always loot it because it's always gonna have something good in it. I'm not gonna put on that. These are way worse. Actually, you know what? Socks wouldn't hurt. Alright, I believe that's all the good stuff in the town. Um, in the story mode, loot isn't randomly generated. Uh, when you play survival, loot is randomly generated. I've seen people who have survived up to like 900 plus days in the survival mode. That They're really good at surviving. Because why this game is fun is death will come literally from anything. Uh, the decisions that you make now, or that I make now... Can and will affect the future. If I don't pick up that can of food, I might die of starvation in the future. If you are carrying a dead rabbit on you, and you are downwind of an animal, they might kill you because they're hungry. If you are bleeding out and you don't have any bandages, and you're also tired and you need to sleep, you might bleed out in your sleep. It's the choices you make now will affect the game later, and whether or not you live is based on the decisions you make now. It's the survival of the fittest? No. It's the survival of the ones who do not procrastinate. Every decision matters, and you need to be making good ones. And sometimes you can't make good ones, but sometimes shit happens. But you gotta learn to adapt. Like, um, the wolves, like I said about the wolves. I didn't even know about the downhill until I saw it in a, a tip in the main menu. In sprinting, I learned about that. I think Twitch chat kind of exaggerated about sprinting in this game. 
Uh, you can't hunt wolves just yet. You need a gun. You don't get a gun until the second episode. But we do have a gas station. And this is one of the best places to find food in the whole campaign. It's a very good place to find food. And when I mean food, I mean snacks. I mean, so, you're going to find like a lot of soda and a lot of chips. Oh, and this guy. Well, another stranger. Have you escaped the town? Escaped the town? No, I just arrived. Not a refugee from the highways, then. You look weary, traveler. Come, warm yourself by the fire. Who are you? I'm nobody. But you can call me Methuselah. I'm here to witness the passing of an age. What do you mean, the passing? Don't you see the signs? I'm looking for my friend. She was with me when my plane crashed. But it looks like she must have made it out alive. Have you seen anyone pass by here? Many people have passed. All have gone into the town. I haven't seen any come back. What is this town? I don't recall seeing it on any maps. This is Milton. <laughs> Paradise Lost. It's a town of the old world. Discarded, left behind. You won't find much hope. I need to find my friend. I'm not sure you'll find any friends here. You seem oddly familiar, old man. Is that right? Yeah. And this whole place feels strange and empty. The quakes changed everything here years ago. Great Bear's back was broken, and it's been laid low ever since. Then what are you still doing here? Aren't we here to witness an apocalypse of an apocalypse, you and I? No one thought the world would end this way, but how could they not have seen it? It's probably just the storm, the power failure. I'm sure everything will be back to normal in a few days. I'm not sure anything will ever be back to normal. Any idea why all the cars are stalled and left behind? They all stopped running. People abandoned them. Nothing but metal coffins now. You always this cheerful? My heart weeps for you, stranger. My days are nearly finished. But you'll have to live with what remains. Go safely, and good luck to you. I hope you find what you're looking for. All right, see a meth. I'm calling him meth. I don't know how to say his full name, so I'm calling him meth. Yep, make sure you search this place well. There's a lot of stuff. This box is in my way. Oh, I would kill from some beef jerky right now. I tried beef jerky recently. The the bacon kind. Oh my god. It's literally just bacon in a bag. It's awesome. It's great. I love it. I love bacon. It's awesome. I haven't actually tried the beef jerky beef jerky. I'm gonna have to. Because, you know. I don't know. It might be good. It's just beef. But it's dried. Right? I don't know. I've never had it.
<gasps> Bed roll. And now we can sleep outside. Yeah, I have a lot of weight now. Uh, I, need... I don't know if you could get a bigger backpack. Uh, I... Hold on, can open this. I thought you could. I know in survival, not in story, in survival, uh, if you hunt a certain amount of bears and wolves, you can craft a really good um, coat and stuff. You can craft like legendary items but we're not gonna get the crowbar not yet you don't get the crowbar until episode two and you can't come back here uh, which is sad but you know it's whatever peaches 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 oh I got a sprain risk I might uh, if I if I fall from any heights I'm gonna sprain my leg that's why you don't want to be too heavy. So, when I, I need to get back to Grandma's house. ASAP. And store this food. But, uh, but I'm not done yet. I need to grab everything. Take the water, might as well. It's not going to harm us. It's not like we're going to... We're gonna trip and break our ankles on the way back. Ooh, bandages, antibiotics. Oh, there we go. So if I get attacked by a wolf. There's supposed to be some really good stuff in here. A lot of food. A lot of food. Um, yeah, I guess we'll take the dog food. Can't be picky, huh? Dog food's just beef, I guess. I mean, it would taste bad. Ooh, lantern fuel. <gasps> that means the lantern's in here. Oh, that's actually great that you can take apart the paddles. There's so much good details in this game. The lantern is... Oh, there it is, the storm lantern! Yes! Now we can see at nighttime. Go, energy drink. So it's a five hour energy, but it's off brand. <laughs> Alright, let me make sure I didn't miss anything, because I'm sure he won't mind. I'm going to take your cup of coffee, sir. Because uh, clearly you're not drinking it. It's gone cold. Hmm. Alright, did I miss anything? Okay, I need some water. And then I need some food. Oh yeah, I have a can opener! Wait, stop. 
I just remembered. If, let's go back to grandma's. I just remembered. Before you eat anything, if you get a campfire, uh, you can cook food for not only a heat benefit, like a like a health benefit. Um, you get more food, which is really nice. Um, food is also based on calories. I'm gonna have to leave something behind. Okay, uh, no, we're gonna go right back to Grandma's. I see a deer over there. I can't kill it. The only thing I can kill right now are rabbits. Me. Yeah, we'll eat once we get back to Grandma's. There are wolves behind me. I'm gonna equip my rock. I know what you're thinking. Why do I have a rock? Rocks wouldn't do anything to a wolf in real life. Uh, you'd be wrong. There is a chance of stunning them. Uh, I know guns have a 100% chance of stunning animals, but you would be wasting a bullet, and you would be more likely to kill the animal than to scare it away. And that's meat, and that's good meat, so don't waste that meat. Okay, good. I'm not being followed. Um, I know wildlife can follow you a large way. Wildlife can follow you nearly across the map. Not sitting outside anytime soon. Sorry, Grandma. I know that was your favorite rocking chair, except for the one that you're already sitting in. But uh, you know how it is. It's the apocalypse. This pack is getting kind of heavy. Oh, shush. All right. I'm gonna do the smart thing and drop my stuff. Yep. Okay. Now we'll repair things. Kind of like uh, we'll do a uh, we'll loot during the day, and then at the night time we will craft or we will put stuff away.
Because what's funny is, I used to just sleep whenever in this game. I would just be like, oh, I'm bored, I need to pass the time. So I'd sleep for 18 hours in this game, and I'd be like, okay, cool. That filled my bar up, but now I can't get anything done. How would you get cloth from a baseball cap? You know what would have been really cool? I mean, the way they did this was perfect, but I would have liked a mini game that you would have to do when you're doing anything, uh, basically to determine how well you did during your activity. I mean, I guess you would learn how to sew from the book. You don't actually have to physically read it. You just pick it up and you get the skill unlocked. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. All right, so that'll chill in there for a few days. Right, let's cook. There we go. Something's making me feel tired. Probably the fact that you haven't slept in forever. There we go. Grandma's getting enough food. I'm gonna talk to you in the morning, Grandma. My character is literally gonna pass out if he stays up any longer. Where's the bed? No, I had to look down. Oh, no, no, don't sleep for one hour. Come on. some water. I have any or did I give it all to grandma? I need to find food. Yeah, you do. Alright. I'm sure grandma wouldn't mind us chugging some of her food. What? Tongue feels like sandpaper. I can't take anything. What time is it in game? No, don't sleep. Oh. I accidentally pressed A. I'm trying to pick up the sleeping bag. There we go. Have you been able to remember anything else about that night? Anything that might help me find my friend? I'm back in that night. Wind howling. Voices passing through town. I can hear them just outside the window. It's windy, but the voices carry. They are yelling. Her voice, it passes through town. She's running. She's alone, calling for help. 
but no one comes. Why didn't anyone help her? Yes. Why didn't they? They should have... They should have found her before it was too late. Anything else you can remember might help. They said men came from the tunnel. What about the tunnel? The only way out of Milton. The only way through the mountains. It's the only way she could have gone. On the way into town, uh, there was an old man. Glasses, big beard, walking stick. He seemed uh, a little odd. Doesn't sound like anyone from Milton. Most of the elderly have gone. Or died. I'm the only one left. The only one from the old days. The old man outside of town, Methuselah, he said he'd seen other people walking towards Milton. Other outsiders? It's possible. Where would they be? Maybe my friend was with them. If they were outsiders, they might have stayed in the old schoolhouse. In the months after the quakes, people used to huddle there for the warmth of the school's old coal burner. Rare outsider coming through Milton might stay there the night. If your friend came through Milton, chances are she ended up there. All right. Well, that's exciting. I, uh, I gave Grandma all my food. Now I have no food. And I don't have any water either. So now we're going to have to go loot somebody's house. Hooray! But the bus is over there. Let's hope that wolf kills that deer and then just leaves its corpse alone. Not very likely. Hey deer, can you do me a favor? Just run across the gas station in that direction, please. If I throw this rock at that wolf, it's going to come after me. Bunny! And a wolf. Oh, God. Oh, well, I'm so happy I didn't go that way. Have fun with your meal. Man, I wish I was that wolf right now. I shouldn't have given all of my food to Grandma. I should have saved some. Fine, we can survive without it for a bit. I'll find something. What happened here? Oh, I'm not turning to Grey Mother just yet. I gotta find something to eat. If I find a rabbit, I gotta kill it and then I gotta run. Oh, 
Not going up there. Okay. Well, he got the deer. Have fun, buddy. I would scare you away, but it would literally take an hour to harvest any meat. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I don't think I missed anything in the gas station. <gasps> That's a rabbit. That's two rabbits. I think I'm rushing too much to get food. I need to clear my head for a second. Just breathe, you'll be just fine. Aha, some soda. Excellent. Here we go. That'll quench my thirst and my hunger. A bit. For a bit. All I only need is something. Anything. This will come in handy. Oh, that's a flare shell. I will keep that. Thank you. That would mean the flare gun's over here. Could end up being useful. Ooh. Oh, but I don't like that at the end. You'll collapse from exhaustion. You might have to use that near a house. I hear a wolf. Hey fella, don't mind me. Getting back to grandma's. Woof! I got caught in a blizzard. I was on my way back. I made it back to grandma's though. Anything That's good. Right now. All right, okay. Jesus, look. <gasps> Grandma made some food. Thanks, Grandma. Dude, Grandma is so nice.
losing my mind. It smells like food cooking in here. It's been a while since Grey Mother had anyone to make meals for. Please, take some soup before you go. Uh, thank you. That's really very... there, like you said. And your friend? No sign of her. The tunnel's blocked. Looks like maybe an avalanche. But I think she got through before that happened. If the tunnel is blocked, that's the end for Grandmother. So the tunnel is the only way through the mountains? No. Not the only way. She was there at the tunnel, at the bus. I'm sure of it. You think she passed through the tunnel? I'm not sure, but she was there. She left me a sign, a word, perseverance. A word from the old days, why would she write that? She's telling me she won't give up. Maybe reminding you not to. Why write such a long name, though? It has to mean something more. Why? Because you mean so much to her? Because she wrote it in blood. I seem to recall a town somewhere up north, far, what was it called? That's it. Perseverance Mills. Old logging and mill town used to be an important place. Now it's mostly dead, like Miller. Maybe she's pointing you there. Perseverance Mills. How do I get there? By car, before the quakes, when the roads were clear. Looks like I'm on foot. That will be a long road. I'm starting to get pretty worried about my friend. There's only one thing left to be done. You need to put her to rest. Put her to... I'm not giving up yet. I remember something. A farmhouse. On the other side of town. That night... The memories are confused, but... Somehow, I remember the farmhouse. You'll find a key to a safety deposit box somewhere in there. Go to the bank and bring me the box that matches the key. Then you'll understand what happened to her. W wait Farm? Bank? What's this have to do with my friend? They left her, didn't they? She needed help, and they let her go. This is how we make it right. I don't understand. In the bank. You'll find the answers. Now go! I don't know if I'm going to be able to go out in the storm. While we're here, we can just sit by the fire and wait. I looked outside, went outside. There's a big storm. I'm just gonna hang out with Grandma.
Whew. There we go. That was a long time to wait, but uh. We are out of calories.